What's going on everybody, Respawn Gentleman here. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over some of the things that you may have missed from this last week in Dying Light 2. I do wanna do a quick shout out to JKM for providing some of the footage for this video. I do appreciate it an absolute ton, uh, but let's get right into this, starting with the new Smiler Mask. So for the first Smiler Challenge, you need to uh, kind of be in the northwest corner of the map in front of the building. You'll come to this area, you'll see this pillar. The challenge will be on here. For the next one, you're going to go to the southwest corner of the map, uh, kind of way towards the back, and you'll see it kind of in between these boxes with these fake trees right here. Um, the next one is going to be in the northeast corner, kind of on the opposite side where the first one was. Uh, this one's going to be near the horse statue, as well as right in front of the three to tango mission, which you can see right there. And then for the next one is going to be kind of at the southeast corner of the Carnage Hall building itself. Um, it's kind of, you can see the building there in these little boxes. And then uh, one of the last challenges you need to do is actually at the demolisher cage, which um, has three demolishers in it. It's just right in front of it. This will unlock once you complete the others. And then you come to this one, which is actually in the room where you spawn, where your bed is. And once you complete all those previous challenges, this one will unlock. And all you need to do is complete it to unlock the mask. Now, once you have the mask, here, I'll show you the stats of what this looks like. So you can see here's the mask down here. The stats aren't super great. I do like the way that it looks. Um, it's just another thing that we really need transmog fully in the game for it to be really, really useful. But there's the mask for you guys. For the new duplication glitch, you need to have the Mario boots, which I'll have a link in the description below if you want to check that out. You also need to have the Bloody Ties DLC so you can access this challenge, which we can see on the screen here. Now, uh, the host player needs to start the challenge and be the one to have the Mario boots equipped. The secondary player doesn't need to do any of this, but when you start the challenge, run straight over here and get onto this blue stool and basically keep jumping until you activate the Mario boots. Once you do activate the Mario boots where it does a little jump like this, you want to turn around so you can grab the ladder. It may take a few tries because it is definitely not easy. Um, now, what you want to do in order to drop the quad damage is you just come over here like I'm doing, look at the windmill, and you can just drop it right here. Uh, one thing I will say for the secondary player, as soon as you get out of bounds of the challenge, then just kind of stand where it starts and have them fast travel to you, and that's how they can get out. Now, you can also uh, duplicate other items this way, but you need to drop them on the ground before the challenge starts in order to actually do this. If you do not drop them on the ground, then it won't work because this only works with items that you can equip so you have to drop them on the ground, pick them up after you exit the challenge, and then you can drop them infinitely, just like you see here. Um, so it's pretty simple to do, and again, it only works with items you can equip. It does not work for anything else because nothing else can be equipped. If it's not in those four slots, you cannot do this with those items. So for those of you who don't know, the winter event just recently ended and we were nowhere near the goal. So Techland put out these tweets right here you can see on the screen, basically saying, hey, that's our bad for setting it too high. Uh, we're just going to give you guys the bobble mace. So if you participated in the event, uh, but you have not claimed the bobble mace yet, then all you need to do is go to Techland GG and go to the events tab and click on winter tales. And then once you're on there, just scroll down until you get here um, and then you should be able to claim it. Now, if you did not participate in the event, I don't think that you're able to claim this. Now, please leave a comment down below if you do claim it and you didn't participate in the event because I would love to hear that. But you have until February 12th, so make sure you claim this before it's gone. Um, so it's a kind of a time sensitive thing. So make sure to grab that. Now, I have uh, kind of reached out to a few people and they have said that on a, like a level nine character, they're getting it at about a 568 damage, which is not all that bad. I do believe that it is repairable, but please correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's not a spectacular weapon, doesn't have any special effects. It's just kind of a, a weapon that levels with you that does a decent amount of damage, although other weapons would be better. Techland also released a 2023 calendar, which is actually kind of cool. Um, it's just a nice little thing. It actually has screenshots that were taken in photo mode from several different creators. You can see here on the screen, here's kind of the full list of, of each month you can see on this page. And then uh, just kind of quickly go through some of these 
you can see um, just the cool screenshots and just kind of the calendar. Just a nice little thing in case you wanted a Dying Light themed calendar. Um, you can have one. Just download it from the Techland GG website and uh, there you go. You can have one. Also, in case you didn't know, there was a new update added to the game. It's the 1.8.3 patch. Now, I do have two videos linked in the description below that includes all the details of what was added. It mainly focuses on people accessing the DLC. So please let me know in the comments if you still cannot access the DLC. I will say, however, um, it did seem to break some more things. There's people have been having a ton of issues with weather effects as well as having drowners just spawn on random rooftops. Uh, character models just like you know losing their legs or turning completely gray all sorts of stuff I don't know what happened there um, but let me know in the comments below um, if you're able to access the DLC like I said before or if you're experiencing any really weird issues since this last update if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more dying light content make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching see you guys next time